The Gredos mountain range, located in central Spain, is a stunning and rugged natural landscape with soaring peaks, deep valleys and rich biodiversity. But it is the Spanish ibex, a subspecies of the Iberian ibex endemic to the Iberian Peninsula, which lures adventurers into this incredible wilderness. The history of the Spanish ibex in the Gredos mountain range is a remarkable tale of conservation and the crucial role of hunting in its survival. At the end of the 19th century, no more than 20 Spanish ibex were left in the Gredos mountain range. The population experienced a significant decline due to several factors, including habitat loss, poaching and disease. We are here at, at Gredos. Gredos is, to me, is one of the best examples of how hunting helps the conservation. At the end of the 19th century in Gredos Mountains, there were reckoned to be no more than 20 Spanish ibex left. Thanks to some hunters that they went to, to visit the king at that time, and they proposed the king to make some protection to preserve that species that only happens in Spain. The king, Alphonse XIII, he liked the idea and he established a royal hunting reserve in this area. The poaching at that time would limit the number of the ibex, was the local poaching, people looking after the goats and living in the mountains that they needed uh, to get some food supply for the families. So they will shoot the ibex just to get the meat. They have only muscle loads, shotguns, and they even with that they were such a good hunters that they almost sting the ibex. What they did is they took many of the local poachers, the good ones, and they offered them to be gamekeepers instead of poachers. That system worked very well because with that the population increased a lot and from those 20 animals we get to a population over 6,000. That is a very very good result of what hunting means for conservation. If they would have not been for those hunters that went the king and the king who was a hunter that liked the idea, the Gredos ibex would have been extinct without any doubt. We are in Gredos Hunting Reserve with two of the gamekeepers that look after the area here. Gredos Hunting Reserve has got over 40,000 hectares divided in two slopes, northern slope and south slope. Now we are on the northern slope where there is 12 gamekeepers and there is another 13 on the southern slope. Part of the gamekeepers they are paid by the government and part of the gamekeepers they are paid by the local owners of the hunting rights which are the billets. Sisto is one of the gamekeepers from the private company paid by the locals and Pepe is from the game department from the government. They are the ones that really looks after the, the area and do the anti-poaching here. So to qualify as a gamekeeper you need to pass exam and only the people with the best, re with the best results will get the, will get the job. That, uh, that is very important. They still especially on the local areas, on the rural areas, there are still people that they, they love the job and they want, to, they want to do it. On a normal patrol day, they will go early in the morning before light and will do around 8 to 20 kilometers of walking on one valley or two different valleys, yeah, checking the area. Here the poaching is mostly for trophy. People that they they poach an animal, they will, they will do just to keep, to keep the trophy and they will not do anything with the meat. That is totally different than the legal hunting and that on that case will take the meat and will take the also the trophy. They cannot arrest the people, they can only identify the people, they cannot do research in a car they need to call the Guardia Civil, which is the local police, to do the research on the car and to arrest people. They are very well equipped now. That's something new with the drones, the thermal vision, that is uh, improving a lot the job. Who pays your salary? Quien paga tu sueldo? Bueno, pues mi sueldo viene gracias a, a las gestoras cinegéticas y a los cazadores que compran. Your salary is coming directly from the hunting. Eso es. That is uh, the use of the the management of the of the trophies goes through a public action, and then the money that the hunters they pay for it either 
the outfitters who pay for their clients or the locals that they can buy, then that money goes direct to the owners of the land, which are the billets, and that money, from that money, you get your salary, if I understand. Is that correct? Yes. On your case, uh, Pepe, you are paid by the local government, because you are official gamekeeper, but part of his salary is coming from the income from the hunting that takes place on the reserve. They think uh, if uh, we manage to change the education of the people on the respect for the wildlife and the respect for the legal hunting, which is that would really preserve the, the wildlife. They say they are not people that talks, they are people that works. Yeah. I have to say that I, I hunt all over around Spain and I have hunted many places around the world and to me Gredos has got the most professional gamekeepers I've seen in the world. Sito, Pepe, thank you much for the time, thank you very much for the job and thank you for doing this to protect hunting and to preserve hunting for the future.